Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be reviewing this Stay Wet palette for acrylic paints. I'll be showing you how I use it and my overall thoughts on it and a review. I'm Tammy and this is my Aggie Pixie channel. I like to paint and share my process with you. I also review some art supplies and products from time to time, so if you like the sound of that, please consider subscribing. So I'm so excited, I finally bought this Stay Wet palette. This is from uh, Dollar and Ronnie. Uh, it's a palette for acrylic painting. It uh, makes your acrylic paint stay wet for longer. So this is the first time I'm taking it out of the box and it's very sturdy. It's a very hard plastic and it has a very sturdy cover, which uh, I like, I really like that. And inside, it has a little reservoir and a red on the back. That is where you can put a little bit of water and keep your paint brushes on. So in this packet, it contains about um, 15 sheets. So three sheets are the uh, reservoir paper. That is the paper that is going to hold your moisture. So it's a little bit thicker, kind of like watercolor paper. And then another 12 sheets of the palette paper, the membrane paper that you are going to put your acrylic paint on, which is a little bit thinner. So if you look on the back of the box, uh, basically there are the instructions there where you first put the reservoir paper, one sheet, and then over on top of that, you will put the one sheet of the um, lighter membrane paper, which will be your palette paper. Okay, so let's try this out. So I'm gonna get my uh, reservoir paper and then it says to fill it up with a little bit of water. Not too much, just to fully cover it. And I'm just gonna make sure it's fully covered with water. Okay, then I'm gonna take the thinner paper, which is the palette paper, or the, the, they call it the membrane paper, and I'm going to put that right on top of the other sheet with the water. So I'm just going to place that on top. And I notice that it, it does roll to the sides, but it eventually um, it does straighten. Just got to fiddle with it a bit. So I'm um, as I'm, I'm adjusting this paper, I notice that I, I think I have a little bit too much water. So I'm just gonna empty that out or else all my paint is just gonna be watered down. So I'm just gonna just pour out the extra water. I might as well give it to my lovely flowers here. Okay, so I'm gonna get out my acrylic paint to the touch, it is moist, but not, not overly wet. So let's give this a try. So I'm just gonna pop on some acrylic paint. Okay, and this is a little handy little reservoir that you can just uh, put your paint brushes in. All right, so I'm just going to try it out and see if it will last, if the acrylic paint will actually stay wet for a long period of time. So I'm gonna take my handy sturdy cover and just pop that on. I like how it snaps on and it's really sturdy. So I really like that. So I'm gonna just put it aside and uh, come back in a few hours and see how, how it goes. It's been a few hours and I'm just gonna pop the cover off and I'm going to check my acrylic paint. All right, so I'm just gonna take a palette knife. All right, it's still pretty manageable. It's pretty, pretty good. Yes, it definitely uh, kept its um, texture. So great, I definitely would recommend getting this sort of thing if you if you like to paint a lot with acrylic paints. 
it saves you a lot of paint. Um, I find a lot of times I've, I've wasted a lot of paint in the past just because I can never finish a painting all in one session. I think it's a great way to mix up paint and put a little bit of extra paint in this palette and cover it up for use for a later time. If you, let's say you start in the morning, finish it in the, the afternoon, and I would even go on to say for the next day. If you love painting with acrylic paint and you want to save uh, money with acrylic paints because they could get expensive, I definitely recommend this. So I hope you like this review and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!